Hello and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In our tutorial for today, we're going to learn how to add a leaderboard to our game. To add a leaderboard to our game is fairly simple. All you have to do is to add a folder called leader stats to every player that joins the game. Let's get started by going to our server script service and we're going to add a script. Here we're going to say game dot players dot player added. We're going to connect to a function. The player parameters automatically pass in. And now we're going to add a folder to that player. So we're going to declare a local variable local. Let's call it folder, set it equals to instance dot new folder. And we'll set the parent of the folder to be the player. Now we're going to rename this folder and this step is very important. The folder name must be called leader stats in all small letters. So we're going to say folder dot name equals to leader stats if you don't name your folder leader stats in all small letters you're not gonna get a leaderboard as we done in our previous uh, tutorial we added a folder but we did not get a leaderboard so this is again very important you must name your folder leader stats in small case letters. Now if you go and click play, you're going to have a leaderboard. And there is my leaderboard. If I don't want to see my leaderboard, all I need to do is hit the tab key one time and it's gone. If I hit it again, it's going to come back. Next let's go back to studio and we're going to try and add a column to this leaderboard. To add a column, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to declare another local variable. So I'm going to say local. Let's call it points. We'll set it equals to instance dot new. So this time I'm going to add an integer value. So it's going to be int value. And I'll set the parent of this integer value to be my folder, my leader stat folder. So it's going to be folder. And then you can rename your integer value. So I'm going to say points dot name. Let's rename it to points. And then I'm going to initialize my integer value to zero. So I'm going to say points dot value. We'll set that equal to zero. Next thing I want to do is I want to give myself, well, I want to give every player in the game one point for every second that they are in the game. So to do that, I'm going to put in an infinite while loop, while wait for one second. I'm going to do. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase point that points dot value by one point. So I'm going to say points dot value plus equals to one. Let's now play and take a look at our leaderboard. I have a leaderboard here and my points is going up by one for every second that I'm in the game. Now if I go and reset my character or if I die I'm not going to lose my points. You can see my points is still going up. And when my character is respawn, my points are still going up. So I didn't lose any points. If you want to change your game so that when you, your character dies, 
you lose all your points then you want to do that in the die event or you want to do that in the character added event on the other hand if I quit the game and I rejoin the game in this case I'm gonna lose all my points because in the player added event we reset the points to zero as you can see I started from zero and my points is starting to go back up again so if you don't want to lose all your points you if you want to save your points from the previous game to carry on to the next game in that case you want to look up our video on data store to learn how to use data store to save your data from the previous games one thing I want to show you here is if you look over to the right here at the Explorer if I expand the player service and look at my player here if I expand my player I'm gonna see a folder called leader stats under my player that is the folder that we have added here and inside that folder you're gonna see the points the points has an integer value let me switch back to the game the points has an integer value which matches the points that is being displayed in the in the uh, leaderboard over here you can see it's going up 90 91 and look over here it's the same points All right, so that's how you add a leaderboard to your games in Roblox. Thank you so much for watching and we hope to see you again soon.